Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. Today we'll be taking a closer look at the AC1200 dual band wireless repeater from Rockspace, also called Wi-Fi range extender or wireless signal booster. As the name implies, this device is used to expand the coverage area of your wireless signal from the router, hence allowing your wireless devices to be placed in locations farther away from the router. This idea is illustrated on the figure right at the back of the package. Here the illustration is in 2D but of course is a three-dimensional phenomenon. The blue circle here represents the coverage regions of the Wi-Fi signal from the router. And as you can see, only the first three rooms have full Wi-Fi coverage. So in order to extend the signal to the other three rooms, a Wi-Fi range extender like this needs to be placed around the edge of the signal from the router. Pair it up with the router and then you can expect much stronger signal in the other three rooms. It's really that simple. So if you look at the Wi-Fi signal like electricity, then the Wi-Fi range extender is like your extension cable, except that this time it's all wireless and the distance could be a lot more. So do you have some rooms or corners in your building where you need stronger Wi-Fi signal? Do you have wireless devices in your garage that are struggling to remain connected to the internet due to weak signal? Or do you want to share your Wi-Fi with a neighbor? If any of this sounds like you, then this is a go-to solution for you. It's really a great value for the price point, especially when compared to other similar solutions. And as you will see in a moment, it's very easy to set up, even for a non-techie. Okay, so first off, let's take a look at what comes in the box. Here, as you can see, the Wi-Fi extender is double boxed, obviously for protection. In here, you have the Wi-Fi extender itself, a user manual with very simplified instructions on how to set up and manage the device. And finally, a little bonus card that offers you the possibility of winning some other device. Now, let's talk about size. The extender measures 3 by 2.5 inches and also 2.5 inches thick. For me, this was the first pleasant surprise on opening the package. Looking at the illustrations in the product listing on Amazon, I was under the impression that this was a lot bigger in size. But here, as you can see, the extender is really a very portable design, just about half the size of a Galaxy S9 Plus, making it easy to be placed around room corners. The extender has two antennas that can be lifted upwards. On the front here, you have these three indicators, the Wi-Fi signal, the WPS, and power. Each of these LEDs have different colors that indicate different states. We'll talk about some of these colors in a bit, but you can find the full color code in the user manual as well. Underneath, you have an Ethernet port that allows you to connect a wired device like game console or smart TV to your Wi-Fi network. Next to it is a tiny reset button. Now by pressing and holding down this button for about 10 seconds while powered on, you reset the extender back to the default factory settings. And then finally on the back, you have the power plug, which is standard US. Next is the specifications. The AC1200 is a dual band Wi-Fi range extender supporting both the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz bands. It offers you up to 300 megabits per second on the 2.4 gigahertz and 867 megabits per second on the 5 gigahertz, hence providing you a combined speed of up to 1 gigabits per second. Speaking of the coverage area or distance, the AC1200 extends your Wi-Fi coverage 360 degrees by up to 1,292 square feet. Now let's talk about setting up the device. This is another aspect I found quite fascinating. There are two possible ways of setting up this device. The first method is using the Wi-Fi protector setup, that's the WPS. This is an overly simplified way of setting up this device. Now, not all Wi-Fi routers have the WPS capability. To check if yours has one, simply look around it for a button either tagged as WPS or has this loop symbol next to it. If yours has one, then the first thing you need to do is to ensure that both your router and the extender are fully powered on. For the extender, you can tell that it's fully powered on when the power indicator is steady and no longer blinking. Now press the WPS button on your router. For some reason, I needed to press and hold mine for about 3 seconds to get it to work. Then on your Wi-Fi range extender, press and release the WPS button and wait for about 8 seconds, during which the two devices will pair up. As soon as your signal and WPS LEDs become steady blue, then you are good to go. Now if you go to your Wi-Fi settings, you should see two additional network SSIDs. Here I'm using the default settings on my D-Link router, so my actual Wi-Fi network is this D-Link DWR921. So the next network here with underscore 5G EXT is the 5 GHz band from the Wi-Fi extender, while the next one with underscore EXT is the 2.4 GHz band. Here I can connect to any of these two extended networks using the same password as the actual Wi-Fi network. After the setup, all you need to do is to find a suitable location to position your extender. I will talk more about the positioning in a moment, but before then let's take a look at the second method for setting up the device. 
Now this is mainly for situations where your router has no WPS button. Here you will need a wireless device that has a web browser, so either your mobile phone or a laptop or even a tablet will do. The first thing would be to turn on the repeater and wait for the power indicator to become steady. Next, go to your Wi-Fi settings and connect to a network with the name rockspace underscore ext. Now when fully connected, open your browser and type in 192.168.0.254 as shown on the screen and hit enter. Now you should see a page like this asking you to create your login password. Here type in the password of your choice and then enter it one more time to confirm. Then hit next. Now it asks you to select the Wi-Fi network you want to extend. Here I will be extending the Netgear 08 network. So I will click on it and then enter the corresponding password. And then here it shows you the name of the extended Wi-Fi network. By default, it adds underscore ext to your actual Wi-Fi network name for the 2.4 GHz band and underscore 5G ext for the 5 GHz band. You can also choose to rename any of these if you want, but here I will just go with the defaults. Now my Netgear router only supports 2.4 GHz, so this is all I can extend. If you supports the 5 GHz band as well, then you can extend it to using similar process. Now I will hit the extend button and then wait for the setup to complete. Now just like in the first method, you will now be able to connect to the extended Wi-Fi networks using the same password as your actual Wi-Fi network. Now let's talk about positioning. The AC1200 is able to extend your Wi-Fi coverage 360 degrees by up to 1292 square feet. However, the perfect placement position for the extender will vary depending on several factors such as the router range which could depend on the model, the nature of the obstacles on the way, and then few other physical factors. The best way to verify, however, would be to use the signal LED indicator on the extender. If the extender is too far away from the router, the LED indicator will be in red. So you will need to keep adjusting the positions until the LED is steady blue. And that would be the optimal position for the extender. Finally, I decided to test out the extender after trying out a few times to get the right positioning. First, I had my phone connected to my actual Wi-Fi router within close range. Here I was able to get 32.8 megabit per second on download and 11.2 megabit per second on upload. Next I connected from a different room around the edge of the Wi-Fi signal where the signal strength was considerably weak. Here I was getting 17 megabits per second on download and 8.5 megabits per second on upload. Now from the same room I decided to connect to my Wi-Fi extender. And quite impressively, I was getting about 31 megabits per second on download and 9.9 .9 megabit per second on upload. So from these results, you can see that the extender definitely does a great job with expanding your Wi-Fi signal to locations that would have otherwise had weak signals or entirely unreachable. It's crucial, however, to try to optimize the positions of the different components in order to get the best performance for your distant wireless devices. And that is it for this review. I will leave more information and links from where you can get the extender down the video description. Description. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and share with anyone you think might want to see. Drop us a comment if you have any questions or feedbacks. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for updates on future tech reviews and other tech tutorials on the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.